Uh, this is scary uh, for a lot of people yeah. who love animals. This story is seen by millions of people last week, not just here in Phoenix, but across the country. Dozens of owls, beautiful owls, mysteriously falling from the sky right here in the Arizona desert. Yeah, I get this. Most were found dead, a few still just barely clinging to life. But the question is why? Veterinary pathologists um, at Midwestern University are now studying the birds. Early results showed that kidney damage in nearly all of them, um, and it's a possible sign of dehydration during last year's fall heat wave. Researchers say that the findings could show just how small changes in temperature impact migratory species. And Joe Dana is the, uh, the man who did this story for us last week, and uh, he obviously struck a, a chord here, Joe. A lot of people online, you know, really interested in this. All right, so these animals are so beautiful. <laughs> you know, and you can hear them, you know, on the outskirts of the valley, maybe even here in town, you know, hooting at night. Mm -hmm. So what's going on here? These are tiny flammulated owls. It's a species that actually migrates from up in the northwestern United States down to Central America during this time of year. So it was one year ago when over a five week period, 57 of them were, were taken to the two bird sanctuaries here. And this was crazy. It was a huge mystery because the people are in this world are saying, Maybe we get two or three in a year, but not 57. So let me yeah. stop you really quickly. Yeah. So right. people are just like going out in their yard and seeing these little owls on the ground? Which gives you an idea of how many may have actually fallen because 57 people took the time wow. to call someone and say, hey, I see an owl, they're in my pool, or they're suffering on my doorstep, or, or a lot of them were dead. And they're so unusual looking that people were mm. making calls. So they're, they're taking them to the sanctuaries. So... Fast forward a year, Midwestern University, which is known as a medical school, they have a veterinary wing, and they are doing this massive study of all of these owls. So 11 of them were rehabbed and, and freed. Okay. The other 40-something are part of this study, all the carcasses, and they're trying to figure out, okay, just what happened here? So How could this impact other migrations in the future? They're still looking at some toxin results. Right. NAU is involved, another university out of state is involved. But right now, uh, it shows signs of dehydration, which would mean that this slight change, and it was a, it was a pretty unusual uh, dry spell last year, and I should say heat wave in the fall, yeah. uh, it appears that this played a role. Now, they've got, they got to make sure that there aren't other factors. Okay, so they're looking at everything. They are. Is this species already endangered? What is, what's the nature of, of how many exist? There, there are tens of thousands, which isn't a lot for one specific bird population. Okay. Uh, so it's a species of concern, I believe is the term, but not endangered. But certainly people want to make sure that uh, they understand what's happening here because, as we know, yeah. uh, we're all connected. And so understanding what's happening with one species uh, can mean a lot for others, including us. Right, okay, you mentioned that people were just finding these yeah. birds. So what should the public know? So if they come Is, across one of these birds, what, what do they do? No, that's a great point. Uh, and Midwestern University made the point. We're all citizen scientists, and they said this should be a lesson. If you see something unusual with wildlife or animals, mm -hmm. uh, just make a call, game and fish okay. or a sanctuary. Because sometimes this type of work is going on behind the scenes and we don't even realize it. So they shouldn't try to collect and it or do anything, just call. Probably use common sense, okay. but um, you know, Game and Fish is also involved in this study. Okay. And so you know, there, there are a lot of experts out here who want to know the, the, the well-being of certain animal populations, birds. So yeah, we're all, we're all in this together and we can all be citizen scientists. As soon as this study is finalized at the end of this year, we'll, we'll bring the final update. Yeah, interesting story, Joe. And if people yeah. want to watch it, it's up right now on 12news.com. Is it on 12 plus? Is it on all of our streaming platforms? It should, it is it everywhere be, we stream? Start at 12news.com, yes. <laughs> all right. All right, Joe, thank you. All right, thanks guys. <laughs>